I have. You can say that they are not God's sheep. You can always say that. that, that's, that you can. But who are you? Who am I? If God, Pastor Griffiths, if God say that they are my sheep, who am I? In my holy sanctimonious self, better than thou attitude to say that because they don't know what I know, that they are not God's children. You make a sad mistake. I was watching something recently about some individuals in Iraq, Christians, not Seventh day Adventists, but they were hunted by the Muslims. And they were hunted and they were backed up in a particular area. They were there starving. They were there under every persecution. But these individuals who don't know what we know, they were, they, 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 they were committed to what they knew. They were committed to the gospel they knew. They were com committed to what they knew about Jesus. They were committed and they were willing to give up their lives. For the Lord. Many of us who know the truth, we sit down in church, Pastor Griffiths, and we warm benches and we point at them. But I come by to tell you here today that judgment does not belong to Pastor Bar. Judgment does not belong to any of my colleagues. Judgment belongs to God. And I want you to know, my brothers and my sisters, that the church that you see and the church that I see is not necessarily the church that God sees. We see the numbers that are on our books. And we say, yes, we're over 20 million strong worldwide but when god look at some of us god sees that some of us are not ready and some of us will never change when god look in the world even in babylon god sees his children they love him with all their hearts but they don't know what you know and they don't know what i know are you listening to me, friends of God? Are you listening to me? We say that we love Jesus. We say that we want him to come. But the question is, are our actions lining up with what we say? I heard Elder Pierce earlier as he introduced. Let me get to there. Let me get to there. And so the Bible says, I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven having the everlasting gospel. I told you already that the angels that are seen, the three angels in Revelation chapter 6 are symbolic of the people of God, the remnant church of God taking the everlasting gospel to all the world. Are you a remnant? Are you a remnant? If you're a remnant, raise your hand. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I see your hands. I see your hands. Some persons are not so sure. Well, I am not here to judge anybody. Judgment belongs to God. But I'm telling you, my brothers and my sisters, if you are the remnant, the remnant has a message and a mission. Are you listening to me? And the remnant can't just be feeding on the message, feeding on the message, feeding on the message, feeding on the message, but there is no mission with it. Listen to me as I told you before. As I told you before, when the Lord comes, the Lord is not going to say, bring all the record books of the Seventh-day Adventist church in the world. And let me see those who are on the record. And he says, Sister Ball, you were baptized 1990 at the Omaro 7th Adventist Church, and you remained until I come. Good. He's not going to say, 
Sister Wilson, you are, you, you are committed to the work and you, you, you did this and you did that for the Lord. No, the Lord is going to look at your relationship with him. The God, Lord is going to look at how you have responded to his word. The Lord is going to look at your heart condition. And he says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And I told you already, the part of the Lord's commandments is the words that were spoken are, are the words that were spoken by Jesus and Jesus says go into all the world and preach the gospel and hear me my brothers and sisters we're talking the Bible says that the rock that is gonna cut out of the mountain is gonna destroy the image and the rock is gonna grow and grow and grow until it fills the earth now here is what the word of God says in St. Matthew 24 and verse 18 and verse 14. The Bible says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be what? Preached into what? All the what now? For witness and then shall the what? Am I talking to you? So my brothers and my sisters, listen to me. The kingdom of God was established at Christ's first advent during the days of the reign of these kings. And the kingdom of God is still being established. Now does God establish his kingdom by the preaching of the word so he's saying to each of us if you love me go preach the word if you want the kingdom of God to come go preach the word are you listening to me then my brothers and sisters at the end or, or, or when the gospel rather is taken to the entire world then the kingdom of glory will be established are you listening to me my brothers and sisters one will feed into the other the kingdom of grace fed into the kingdom of glory and this will only take place when the gospel the everlasting gospel this gospel that is given to the remnant church is preached in the entire world and so i wrap up with the word of this song I'm going to ask the praise team if they can sing it for me. Prepare to sing it for me. 596. It says, look for the way marks. As you journey on, look for the way marks. Passing one by one. Down through the ages. Past the kingdom four. Where are we standing? Look the way mark or the chorus. Look for the way mark, the great prophetic way mark down through the ages, past the kingdoms for. Look for the way mark, the great prophetic way marks. The journey is almost over. First, the Assyrian kingdom ruled the world, that's Babylon. Satan, me the Persia, rule the world. Thirdly, Greece rule the world. Greece, elsewhere, universal sway. Then it says, Rome, seize the scepter. Where are we today? <laughs> Down in the feet of iron and clay. Deep. And the weak and divided soon to pass away. What? 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 What will the next great glorious drama be? Christ and his coming and eternity. Oh, lift your hands and praise God. Look for the way marks. The great...
prophetic way marks the kingdom of God the kingdom of grace is to be established not long from now and in Revelation chapter 6 verse 13 onward John said that he saw when the heaven are departed or the heaven is departed as a scroll and the rich man and the poor man and the slaves and everybody run into the rocks and the mountain saying hide us from the face of him who sits on the tr throne but Isaiah tells us that when that day comes the people of God will not be running away from him. The people of God will be running to him. The people of God will look and we will see a sign. Just the size of a man's hand. And as we continue to look, we realize that the cloud is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Then we'll realize that is the coming of the Lord. And instead of running away from him, we will stand up and we'll shout, Lo, there is our God. This is our God. We have long waited for him. Now he has come to save us. My brothers and my sisters, the kingdom of grace is already established. Approximately 2,000 years since, since the establishment of the kingdom of grace. It's now time for the kingdom of glory. Is the praise team ready to sing for me? You know the song. Look for the way marks. The great prophetic way marks. Look for the way marks. We are there. We are there. It's a more, more sure word of prophecy. It is not man's gimmicks. Individuals who jump up overnight and calling themselves prophet. Ever, ever, everybody now is becoming a prophet. Prophet. Prophet here. Prophet there. Prophet online. You can dial in your prophet and get your prediction. We are not after those things. We have a more sure word, a prophecy. Look for the way marks. Look for the way marks. Are you able to sing, my brother? All right, go ahead. The hymn number 596. Stand, everybody. We'll go after two, one, two. Look for the way, trusted one. We'll go together again after two, one, two. Look for the way, Mars. Look for the way, Mars, passing one by one down to the edges as the kingdom for. Where are we standing? Look the way marks are. Look for the way marks, the great prophetic way marks. Down to the ages, past the kingdom for. Look for the way marks, the great prophetic way marks. The journey is almost Kingdom rule the world. Then media purchase banners were unfurled. After the sway held universal sway. Rome sees the scepter. Where are we today? Look for the way marks, the great prophetic way marks. Down through the ages, past and kingdoms more. Look for the way, Mark, 
with the great prophetic remarks. The journey's almost o'er. Down in the feet of iron and of clay, we can divide it soon to pass away. What will the next great glorious drama be? Christ and his coming and eternity. Look for the way, Mark. Look for the way, Mark. The great, great prophetic, prophetic way, Mark. Down through the ages, past the kingdom's war. Look for the way, Mark. The great prophetic way, Mark. The journey is all you know, it's important that we sing these songs more than we are now doing. Yes. Back in the days, those who were in the church back in the days, you can attest that these songs were regular parts of our worship. Yeah, you can attest to that fact that these songs, prophetic songs, Songs that speak to what we believe. They were regular parts of our worship. Let us pray. Father, thank you again for the way that you have revealed yourself and the future and your love for us in the word. Help us, oh God, to continue looking for the way marks as we wait for your coming. As we leave here tonight to our various homes, I pray, Father, that you, you, O oh God, will take us safely home and will help us to be faithful to you. We are not now ministering in your cause. Help us to know that every remnant is a worker in your vineyard. Any remnant who is not a worker is a remnant by name and not by nature. Help us, O oh God, to fulfill the commission that you have given to us is my humble prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. We continue with this prophetic expose. Tomorrow evening we'll be right here in the sanctuary. Those who can come out, please come out. And those who will join us online, please join us online. And please send a link to your friends too. They too can be educated by the things shared. God bless you. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Yes, tomorrow at 5 o'clock we will be on the Zoom platform for our uh, New City Prayer Session. But we will not continue beyond 6.30, beyond 6 o'clock rather, so that we can have the prayer and fasting here in church. So those who can come out, please come out and be a part of the prayer and fasting in church. May God bless you as we continue to pray for one another and we continue to do the biddings of the Lord. God bless. May the Lord watch between you and me. May the Lord watch me between you and